Welcome back to Mario Galaxy. Time to explore a new dome. And there's a weird junk bot thing in here. Yeah, and they warn you that it's going to get harder from here on out. And does it actually get harder? A little bit, I guess. Hmm. Harder that I would find it difficult? You beat this game 100%. <laughs> it was so long ago, I don't remember. <laughs> Like, I don't think I beat this 100%. Like, I really don't remember these levels at all. Well, it was six years ago. I think I just watched, like, the Cake Loving Artist or someone beat it for me. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> he did beat a bunch for me, because I remember it being very difficult for some reason. Hmm. Yeah, you never beat Sunshine, even though you love that game. I got to basically the end. That's not the same. Anyways, more bee stuff. Yay, I love the bees. Yeah, this is actually the level I was talking about before that people complained about for being too similar to a previous level. Even though it's got like the orange motif and it's completely different level design. But nope, it looks kind of the same, so it's a rip-off and useless and they just, they're just they reusing assets. Nintendo's so lazy, how dare they. Mario 64 is the best game ever. But what does it look the same as? It looks the same as the other B level. It's got the, same, the same music and everything. Same music, yeah. They same just, music and the, the, this each boss fight this is place, the same music. The aesthetic is the same. It's just um, it's orange now, but it's the fun. level is also completely different. So yeah, I'm not seeing anything really the same. Well, oh, it's you got can the wall jump. The rock things are, are there too, and it's just basically a flip. But still, yeah, it's pretty stupid. It's weird how it turns purple. What? The f that little star thing. Like, flashes purple and yellow. What are you talking about? Oh, the swings there, thank god. Yeah, so it's, it does have the same things to it, but still. Whee! See, these bees are enough fun, too. Good. So what is the rabbit doing here again? They're looking for the star chips. Yeah. We get to chase the rabbit eventually? Maybe. Yeah. The one way to find out. Get the star chips. There's actually a lot of rabbits, I didn't notice that. Yep, one for each star chip. And then I wanted to tell you they're looking for star chips. Oh, so peaceful. Yep. What was that thing glowing in the ground back there? That green thing? Pretty sure you can shoot it to get a coin. Shoot it with what? What do you mean? You said Star bits. Oh. Look at those things just running away and dying. Bunch of wimps. Don't speak ill of the dead. Ill, they're dead? Well, they jumped off a cliff. <laughs> you commit suicide. Oh. And you call it the wimp for doing that. <laughs> That's so sad. I take it back. Oh, no, he's still there, you're a wimp. No, no, the other one already killed itself, though. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Set by this place too, and star bits. Yay! And Octumbas. Ah, uh, the Octumbas. And a sleepy bee. Reminds me of that maple tree way race course from uh, Mario Kart. I think that's the motif here. It's whoopy all maple. Yes, yeah, nice. Lots of coins. Perfect. Just what I always wanted. <laughs> what up? Yay. Wait, did I get a 1-up for getting 10 coins? You must have been close to 100, I guess. What? <laughs> there, uh, or 50, or whatever you get it for 1-up in here. No, oh, there was 10 coins. Yeah, but you must have had... Don't they carry over from other levels? No. Huh. I don't know, then. Nobody knows. The coins are just weird in this game, okay? Yep. Star bits! It's really weird, all those other star chips are all just sort of close together, but then this one's just randomly over here. Yeah, actually. That's kind of weird. You have to do way more work to get it. Mm -hmm. And what do you get for getting all of that? Some things that lead you over to another rabbit, so... That was worth it. <laughs> I like how there's just, like, deep space right there. <laughs> So abrupt. Like these places they live in are so dangerous. They're literally yeah, they really are. inches from death, every one of them, except maybe the water places. Well, you can say a sandball. Us, too, we're always inches from death. It's just we don't die from falling into a black hole. <laughs> Rabbit time. 
There's that boy thing again. Yes, you're right. Or it's not even like obstacles this time. Yeah. Well, you'll see. Yeah, there's that weird thing. I don't even know what just happened there. <laughs> I just <laughs> sent it flying, I guess. There it is. I, I don't get it. <laughs> I think you can actually send it flying at the rabbit or something. I don't know. But yeah, you can create obstacles. Uh. At which point it just sort of freaks out and loses. <laughs> Why is it too hard? To oh, it's got the little monster right there. Yeah. Is it too hard to catch him if you don't put the obstacles? I don't know. Maybe. Next time, it won't catch him so easily, except I will, because I'm like that. And you lose your B power up. Yep, it's water. Yeah, I kind of like that place, though. Well, yeah, it has bees and everything you like. <laughs> Bees, it's kind of tropical, but more fall-like, which is yeah, nice. More, it's got like a maple theme to it. Yeah, I like the maple theme. Well, I guess we are Canadian. <laughs> and a new galaxy, woo! They found the enemy base already. <laughs> One star in. Mm. Like, at this point, he's still hoping they're not misusing the power of that poor grand star. <laughs> this is literally the sixth one, but maybe this will be the lucky one. <laughs> he's not very smart, okay? He's got like a little... Star brain? Yes. Stars don't even have brains. They can't think. Exactly. Cataquack to the skies. Yeah, this is a nice throwback to Mario Sunshine. Oh, it has the ducks? Yeah, those duck things. The cataquacks. Oh, those things. They're so weird and annoying. And that's why they brought them back. Great. So this is a rare time when you actually go to the same place and run through the same area. No, you always start in the same place. You just go to new places after that. But it's usually pretty immediate. This is like... Well, I don't know. Maybe it will be immediate. Yeah, it's pretty immediate. <laughs> Can those balls roll over the things and kill them? Probably. Yeah, secret L of star bits, too. It's an L? Yep. I don't know. Hmm. It's pretty difficult to think about. It oh, Luma? No, wait, what's it actually supposed to be? Throughout Mario Galaxy, there's a bunch of hidden M's and L's. What do you think those are for? Oh, Luigi. I got it now. I was just testing you and the audience. Yes, yeah, so if you guess that right, you can win a free game. This game, in fact. Yes. Yeah. But we're only giving out two copies, so guess it fast. Uh, unfortunately, you weren't fast enough, so yeah. sorry. Thanks. Oh, so the ducks actually help you in this game now. Yep, well, they helped you in the other one, too. They're more just frustrating in Mario, Ga or Mario Sunshine. Everything in Mario Sunshine was frustrating. Oh. Yes. Yeah, see, you actually go to the same places, and this whole place is the you went, same. You but went through ducks. a different place, though. It's like the same, but with ducks. Now, this is different over here. Or did you come here last time? No, we didn't. Nope, gotta use the cataquacks. Oh. Yeah. Were you just hurt by the duck, or did it push you it into- It pushed me into the wiggler. Ah. You, can, you can stun them too, which is kind of annoying. And they do lose interest in you really fast too, so yeah. Cause yeah, this little maze thing is all about luring a cataquack over to the place you want it to go to. Which luckily had a little cataquack sign on it, so you know that it's a cataquack place. <laughs> but, Where's the cataquack sign? Over in the cataquack place. Ah. And there's the actual cataquack. 
in another peaceful little garden area that I'd like to just live in. You like to live in a little hedge maze? Yep. Just for a day. Just for a day? Yep. These caveat things can really throw you off because when they go around one of these little bends, they go way faster for some reason. Look at that. They speed up for some reason. I could have swore these things killed you in Mario Sunshine. Did they always just fling you up harmlessly? Hmm, kinda. <laughs> it's frustrating. <laughs> it's so stupid, these little ducks. I hate them. I hate them and love them. I don't get that. Why do they move so fast when they go over the little bends? Because they got a little Whoop. jolt of adrenaline. <laughs> yeah, it's so exciting. Ooh. It's like, ooh. <laughs> There's a cat sign. Ah, uh, there we go. Whee! This place is really weird too, and if you get- this is where they can actually kill you. If they f hit you, they'll send you flying right off the thing and die. But now they can send you flying into here too, so that's good. You know, you know what those flowers mean, right? Hmm, death. I guess, in some cultures. Stars in this culture? What? What do they mean? Floating? What do you think flowers mean? I just you said they mean you said those flowers mean death, and I said yes in some cultures, and then you started talking about stars and Yeah, I mean they mean like a power star in this culture. What? Ah, uh, never mind. Octumbas are a lot like octorocks, they shoot rocks and everything. They're octopuses. Octopi. Yeah, octopi. Get it right. Don't be racist. Is it actually octopi? Yes. Is it like it actually is octopi? Yes. <laughs> oh, interesting. And then that can't send you high enough. I wonder what you have to do. Hmm. Now, these things can make little barriers for the cataquacks too, so it's kind of annoying. But they go away eventually. And then you can do this. B. That was easy. No, I love the bees. And now we can walk on these flowers. That's another thing they can walk on. It's weird. They can walk on honeycombs and flowers, just like real bees. So, Mario can't walk on these? Nope, they just disintegrate. Yeah. And now those bug things are after you, too. Oh, no. I wish the actual bees showed up here. Like, there's no honeybee, worker bees type things. Yeah, there are. We're back in the main area. Was there? I just saw rabbits. There was bees, too. And that takes care of that star too, so we're part way through Golden Leaf Galaxy. Ha. Huh. Pun. Funny. See you next time. Adios.